Hello, good day. So um, today I would like to show you the PD 3200Q, which is the 2K version of this display, which is uh, pretty new and from BenQ. Um, I would like to show you this because I've n never seen a review myself on YouTube and I was very interested in this monitor and no one could help me. So. Um, I guess I can help anyone showing this video and please don't expect a review or quality video or anything. Um, it's what I just deemed um, important in, uh, with this monitor and the features which I liked. And if you want to find out about the rest, uh, for example, um, the, the technical specs and so on, um, maybe I'll put a link under the video or you can just Google it because um, it's pretty easy to acquire. So I'd like to start off with a size comparison between the 32 inch and the 24 inch which I have here beside it. This is a 144 hertz um, display that's why it's flickering maybe and as you can see um, it just looks tiny compared to this one and yeah that was the reason I bought it. This is for gaming, this is for productive work and whatnot. So yeah um let's test it with a browser for example let's open up reddit and this is um enlarged already so if we make it at a hundred percent let me just try to hit the control button with my elbow so this is a hundred percent and then we can put it on this monitor this is 100% here. So from the size itself, the 1440p or the, the, the higher um, resolution makes it just a bit more crisp, in my opinion, even though it's um, a much larger display. So basically, if you want to go by a rule of thumb, I would say you get somehow the same type of um, resolution crispness as you get on a 1080p monitor but of course it's just a lot larger so it's basically just expanding this space to this huge space so let's try some things such as maybe excel to show you how okay it's opened here so here it goes up to ac and the numbers go to 39 so here it goes up to am and the numbers go to 57. So you get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more um, columns and yeah, lots more rows, which which is pretty nice. I should have got this earlier for my studies. Then I guess many projects would have been easier. So yeah, we can also start Word, I guess. And you can see how many side by side pages can open up. Um, yeah, I guess I have to insert a page break. So yeah, so it's like two pages side by side, no problem. You still have spaces on the on the left and on the right. So I bet there's some option where you could maybe get three pages side by side and then it'll be just a bit tinier. So yeah. Also, let's check out how browsing would be done if you have two tabs open. So because this is how I'll probably be using it a lot because I don't want to use the other monitor. So now you have two pages open and both are really, I must say, huge enough to, to view them properly. Um, it feels like a 22 inch monitor or maybe let's say if there's a 21 inch, 20 inch monitor, which is put on pivot on like the, the up, upward version. So you have lots of space and it's really nice and because of the the high picture quality um, it's really beautiful to watch and it seems crisp and vibrant and yeah so that was um, chapter one I must say of my video I'll be editing this anyways so but this was a size comparison and yeah so I'll follow up with the up down functions movement in general um, also like the build quality and maybe what's included and then yeah we'll follow up with that with cool features uh, which is the light sensor um, it 
realizes when you're a bit further away that you are further away which of course yeah now it's working on the top on the below right you see that it reacts then we'll follow up with a um, light sensor like ambient like it uh, find it, it adjusts its brightness due to the ambient light around <clears throat> then audio low blue light and then maybe I'll show a video how how just the video looks on 1080p and then um, as of now I still have my HDMI cable connected but as soon as I have uh, bought a new display port cable I can show you any ghosting issues or stuff like that from Blurbusters website okay thank you very much for watching um, I apologize for the low quality if you want to call it that way but um, I guess anyone who's looking for this monitor will gladly have any type of review so I hope I could help you there see ya